This video is the second of two covering whiteboarding in Meeting Pro 4. In this video we're going to look at some of the extended features of whiteboarding such as grouping and locking objects, inserting text and images and creating objects which are links to web pages or files. Objects on the whiteboard can be dragged around with your finger but there may be times when you want to lock an object in place so it cannot be moved. To do this use a drop down menu and choose lock in place. The object is now locked to the background and cannot be moved. To unlock, just reverse the process. If you need another copy of an object, then choose Clone. Also available on the drop down menu is the option to flip an object left to right or up to down. You can also group objects together. Drag over the objects until they all show the selection box, then choose any of the drop down menus and then group. They are now grouped together as a single item. Reversing the process ungroups the items. You can insert images into your whiteboard file by choosing insert and then selecting the image. Once on the whiteboard page, the image becomes an object and can be moved and resized like any other object. When you place objects on a whiteboard page, they stack on top of each other, with the last object being the top of the stack. If you want to change the order, then use the drop down menu to bring the object backward or forward in the stack. Sometimes you may want to capture an image from another program on your computer and insert it into the whiteboard. This is achieved with the capture tool. To capture this image, opt for the rectangular selection and touch and drag over the image. Upon release, the image will be captured onto a new whiteboard page. If you need to capture part of an image which is an irregular shape, as in this case while I only want the green trainer from this montage, opt for the freehand tool and trace around the part of the image you need. The Meeting Pro whiteboard also accepts text copied and pasted from the clipboard from most applications including Office and web browsers. So here I can copy this paragraph of web text and then paste it into the whiteboard where it becomes available as editable text. Objects on the whiteboard page can also act as links. These can either be to web addresses or to files on your computer which you can open directly from your whiteboard. This is very useful because your whiteboard file can contain many different types of file, all of which can be kept inside the single FCW file. To add a link, choose the object you are linking to. In this case, I want the text labelled the brief to open a PowerPoint presentation. From the drop down menu, choose link and then navigate to the file on your computer. To embed the file within the whiteboard file, leave the default as copy of file. If you don't want this, then choose shortcut to file, but then you cannot move the link file or the link will be broken. And if you share the whiteboard file with anybody else, the link won't work. This is why the copy of file is the best option in most cases. Once the link has been created, you will notice a paper clip. Touching this will open the linked file within its native application in this case, PowerPoint. You can also create links from whiteboard pages to web addresses. Here, I want the title of this article to link to the original on the web. First, I go to the web page and copy the URL onto the clipboard. Then back to the whiteboard, choose link and paste the URL in. Web links appear as blue globes and a single touch takes you straight to that web page. 